Hey everybody, did you know you can go to ColinMullen.com in order to get art and art prints? That's why I set up the website, ColinMullen.com. So before I get into today's thing, I wanted to talk about this image a bit and just kind of talk about why I made it, that kind of thing. It's sort of a digital collage of a bunch of different elements. When I'm trying to go for something that's a little bit more photorealistic, I, I kind of have to use elements of photorealistic elements to get that and then use, you know, editing tools to kind of get it to where I want it to be. This is meant to be, you know, kind of a graphic for a lot of different things that I use it for. Uh, it ended up being my, my desktop wallpaper at the end of this. It's going to be my offline image for when I'm not streaming. It's going to be the um, top head banner for uh, after hours, once I kind of like fix it up. Right now, the aspect ratio is off, so I need to do a little bit of uh, figure in there because I got some weird aspect ratio that's like, something that I've never heard before, but whatever. Anyway, and it all needed to fit into this like post-apocalyptic, um, comfy, religious, um, occult thing that um, that I've been kind of trying to do with the rest of my brand. I hate calling it a brand, but you know, that kind of thing um, to be able to have like a cohesive vibe. So that way people knew what they were coming into that this is like, you know, we're being comfy, but it's spooky. And it's got this whole sort of post-apocalyptic uh, band of weirdos kind of vibe. I feel like that really kind of um, gets across a lot of different vibes that I'd like to like just kind of hit people with. Like, this is kind of what my streams are like. This is who I kind of am as a person. Um, so hopefully that, that kind of lets people know in advance what you're going to run into, what the vibe is, and whether or not that's your thing or not, and whether or not you want to hang around. Let's talk about today's thing. Uh, so today's thing, uh, I want to talk about my issue with uh, modern art. And, and it's not going to be like a whole talk about like, oh, I don't like the subject matter. It's not about that, uh, though there is an argument to be made there. I want to just say that like, I think that the way that art is currently being distributed is uh, just bad for the progression of art as something that the layman is actually interested in. The stuff that is in galleries is like cool or not, whatever, depending on whatever your take is. But like, the thing is, I'm not sure if you're like me and you haven't seen all of the stuff that's in the gallery. I've seen the stuff that's in the, the local like museums and stuff and I've seen a lot of that stuff. But for a lot of people, getting out to a gallery is like an actual like time expense that they may not have like the networking to know. They might not live in a city where it's there. And so a lot of this just becomes very difficult for people to interact with. And also there is that whole thing of like, what if you say something stupid, you know, like what if you don't understand art good enough? And so you say something stupid about it and everyone acts all like, oh, well, look at this guy. He came in here not knowing anything about art. And now he's talking about art like he's some sort of guy who knows about art. Um, I don't know. That's like a thing people worry about is saying stupid stuff at museums and such and such. Regardless, I think that a major issue with the contemporary look at high dollar art, aside from everything that goes on in the $10,000 shark and stuff like that, that book that I keep recommending, um, is that just like we, we have this separation of um, our, our time and our ability to actually go and look at that stuff. I feel like that it's, it's so tucked away from the natural experiences of people that I, I feel like random graffiti on a bus stop has more social impact than anything in a modern gallery. Because most people don't see the stuff in the gallery, unless if it's some shocking big thing that happened, you know? I think that a drawing that some two-year-old made that you see while you're taking your kid to like meet t the teacher day, that is gonna have more emotional impact on you than anything in the gallery because you just don't get to see it. Because let's face it, we got lives, we're doing stuff. And so what is the point of art, you know, to show beauty, to experience emotions, whatever you think that it is. It's sort of the question of if a tree falls in a forest, does it make a sound? And yeah, obviously it does, but like if no one's around to experience it, what's, you know, who knows what it sounded like? Who knows what it did? And I kind of feel like that a lot of gallery shows are like that now. That like, 
does it matter what they said, what they did, what the amount of work that went into that gallery show was, if people just aren't getting to see it as easily and naturally as they could see any of these other forms of art? I think a uh, artist who's just trying to get their foot in the door and selling stuff at a coffee shop is doing way more to have an interaction with the world. Like, I remember um, going to a coffee shop and like a... Uh, former co-worker of, of my wife's was there as well and we were looking at the the art on the walls at this coffee shop and we were talking about the art and he was talking about how he liked it and I talked about how I didn't really care for it but that had more of an impact on my life in that moment than anything that's going on being sold for a billion dollars or whatever and I think that that's my continual issue with uh modern art it's not about the content it's not about the style it's about the accessibility to it in any sort of meaningful, realistic sense. We don't see it. We don't see it. We don't interact with it any at all. And so it's just sort of like, what is the point of that? And the point of it is it's a stock to be traded. You know, this is a thing of extreme uh, value that can be uh, pushed around and traded around and used for tax write-offs and for charitable donations and whatever end of the day that doesn't actually improve the world or really change things it just is another facet of capitalism that like a lot of us don't get it to interact with at all and so the question becomes what's the point of it and i think that you know if that's if that's what we're looking at then there's not much of a point anymore but that's my take. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments and let me know what you want me to talk about. Uh, trying to come up with things to talk about can be difficult because the only thing that people are talking about is AI art because that is a thing that, you know, is continuing to happen. So if you have an idea of something that you would want me to cover, um, a topic that you wanted me to talk about, I can do that. That's what I do here. Uh, but um thank you so much to the people on patreon.com slash rev scarecrow if you want to support me you can go there and uh throw five bucks or more if you do you get access to the sub only discord uh and you also get an extra special thanks at the end of the video and that's what these people did starting with my mom and dad i love you thank you to wapfu thank you tof houndor thank you tiffany Thank you, Skelicorgi. Thank you, Reverend Joe. Thank you, Retrograde. Thank you, Mortis. Thank you, Maliciousness. Thank you, Kayla Hollinger. Thank you, Gala. Thank you, Gabriel Bennett. Thank you, Freak Wannabe. Thank you, Egg. Thank you, Dragon. Thank you, Chiptune Glitch. Thank you, Bungle Paws. Thank you, Blake. Thank you, Bep. Thank you, BD648. Thank you, Amber. Thank you, Acrobus. And thank you, Ants. See, that one was weird because I did it normal. And you were like, wait, where's it going to be? What's What was with that? Just a normal one this week. Got to subvert the, the, the thing, you know? Because if I do it loud every time, then you're going to not expect it. Right? You'll expect that. It, yeah, you'll expect that. Yeah, whatever. You know what I mean. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know if... Uh, there's something else you want me to talk about, preferably nothing to do with AI art, because I'm so tired of talking about it. Thank you. All right. Bye.